baby. Am I my brother's keeper? Hell no. <laughs> another cheetahs review for y'all this is darren and jennifer before we get into this review y'all already know church announcements if you have not done so just yet go ahead and subscribe to my channel all of my new subscribers i appreciate y'all so much for rocking with me let me know you stop by give me a thumbs up a thumbs down make sure the notification bells oh uh, i'm getting tongue tied make sure the notification bells are turned on so you and uh know whenever i upload new content y'all this episode was good this <laughs> This episode right here was good. I don't want to make y'all wait for it. So hopefully y'all are ready for this review. Because I'm ready to give it to you. So let's go and get right on up into it, y'all. All right, y'all. So we got 34-year-old Darren. He is married to 29-year-old Jennifer. How long they been married? I don't goddamn know. But look here. He say things ain't the same no more. She been tripping. She don't act the same no more. So he want to know, like, what the hell is actually going on with this chick. They used to be in love. They don't communicate. They fuss. They fight all the damn time. He trying to figure out, like, what the hell is going on. So, first night of investigation, they end up following her to a bar. She ends up meeting up with this dude at the bar. They in there, kind of hugging, you know, flirting here and there. Afterwards, he ends up walking her to her car after the bar. They kissing, making, hugging, all that good stuff. He ends up, you know, no, she ends up getting in the car and leaving afterwards, of course, going home to her damn husband. Just nasty. Day nine of investigation, they finally got her little schedule down or whatever, right? So, they end up... Um, following her, she goes to the bar, meets the dude again. Bitch, trying to find out the dude is her husband's brother. Yes, Lord. They end up going to the bar. They sitting down in the bar. They talking or whatever. She pulls out this little wad of papers, shows the papers to the brother. Brother gets all excited. He flipping through the papers, looking at him. He looking excited or whatever. They kiss. They end up while well, he ends up walking her back out to her car. They make out, do whatever they do, kissing all that. Once again, she gets back in the car and goes back home to her husband after she been fucking his brother, right? <laughs> So day 11 of the investigation, they ended up following her. She leaving from the house. They end up following her over to the brother's house. She hops out the car soon as she see the brother runs up to his arms, hugs him. She look like she hysterical, like she's, you know, upset about something. Then and she's talking to the brother, telling the brother that brother's name is Chris. She's telling the brother, like, what's going on? You don't know what they're saying. Of course, you can just see their actions and their movement. You can see that clearly she is upset. After she tells him whatever it is she tells him, then you can see that he's upset. Now, they both upset. They sitting, you know, they talking in the parking lot for a little bit. Once again, they hug, kiss. She ends up leaving, right? Now, Darren ends up calling Jennifer once again on the recorded line to see if he can catch this bitch in a lie. He like, what's up, baby? What's going on? Like... When you coming home, I'm home, you still ain't home yet, right? She said, well, I got to work late at the bar, you know what I'm saying? So I don't know what time I'm going to be home. He said, well, I wanted to plan a romantic dinner. Like, where are you at? You don't know what time you're going to be home. She was like, yeah, well, I don't think a romantic dinner is going to work tonight. I'm busy. I got to close the bar. Damn, like, you always got to close this goddamn bar. They can't get nobody else. She's like, no, I can't do it. I'm sorry. Hangs up. Come to find out. This heifer ends up going home with the brother, spent the night at the brother's house. So Clark Gable ends up meeting up with Darren, telling Darren everything that they found out, showing him video, all of that shit, right? So he like, he pissed off. He like, oh, word up. This is my little brother. So she been fucking with my little brother the whole time behind my back. He says yes. So he shows him, um, you know, this video of her getting upset, talking to the brother, and the brother getting upset. He was like, yeah, that was last night. That's when she tried to uh, serve me these damn divorce papers. So she must have left. Soon as she served me these divorce papers, me and her got into an argument, and she went straight to my brother's house, spent the night at the damn brother's house that damn night. Child, guess where they at now? At this nigga house. Baby, they end up going to the house, the brother and the wife, Jennifer, in the bed. He in his damn boxer shorts. Come now, they goosing. Baby, they bust up in there. Darren is pissed. 
they on the flow just the rolling and the tussing and it is goddamn funny at first the brother chris he tried to lie and say no nah, man ain't nothing going on i'm just over here chilling i was tired i was just over here resting jennifer talking about he was just consoling me because i was upset baby and they're like miss parker we was just praying <laughs> we was just praying baby we was praying it was funny as hell then next thing you know they talking to um the wife jennifer of course clark is like you, you didn't think that was wrong you didn't think you should have told your husband what was going on you didn't think it was wrong you sleeping with his brother you don't see anything wrong with that she's like look here it's over between me and him i serve him the divorce papers i don't want anything to do with him it's over and he just knows it's over and we this is over the brothers is steady rolling on the floor fighting i mean y'all it's a hot damn mess she's steady telling darren i don't want you i, I don't i don't want to be with you no more then the next thing you know the brother he flipped the script like you know what the hell with it yeah i love him and it's gonna be our house get the hell out you can just get the hell out the brother starts kicking this nigga out his home damn house i'm like what where they do that at and she is just like yeah yeah, you're not gonna get this house. This is our house. You've already signed the divorce papers. You're not gonna get out of you. You've already signed the divorce papers. He like, dumb bitch, you record, you on candid camera. It don't matter what's in them papers. You on candid camera, girl. Baby, they arguing, going at it. Next thing you know, this fool, Darren, runs to the car, tries to take the damn car, starts the car on, Jennifer comes and overpowers his ass, takes the damn keys to the car, and goes in the damn house. How you let the, you sitting up there beating your brother's ass, but you let her overpower your ass. Then she runs in the house, both of them, the brother and Jennifer, run in the house and lock the damn door, right? This nigga there on the outside knocking on the door. You better let me in. I swear to God. I swear to God. Oh my God. I swear to God. You better let me in. Cha. He said, you don't let me in. I'm going to kick the door. And I swear to God. Baby, the brother comes out. Look here now. We've just had enough. We've had enough of this. So you just leave. You just leave right goddamn now. Cha, he does a damn gold bird. Goes in, tackles his ass. They fight again. It was just sad. It was really sad. I feel bad for the guy. I just feel bad for the guy. Child, so after that, they finally kicked his ass out. She got the keys to the damn car. Her and the brother in the house, in his damn house. Where that nigga went for the night, I don't damn know. But y'all, the episode ended from there. He, they supposedly get a divorce, which I hope you are, because now she done, she done fucked your brother. Ain't no coming back from that. Like, <laughs> I'm, I'm just saying, I, I, there ain't no coming back from that. But y'all, the episode ended from there. If y'all can search this and see this on YouTube, it's Darren and Jennifer. D-A-R-R-I-N is how you spell his name. Darren and Jennifer, cheaters, y'all. If y'all see this episode, if it was anything that I missed, y'all already know. My sh fix your shit. Drop it down below and let me know. Drop down in the comments. Anyway, y'all, let's talk. Let's key key. Let's get it on. As always, y'all, I appreciate y'all for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And your Auntie Mo will see y'all in the next video. Peace out, y'all. Elbow bump. Bam.